hey now, you're an all-star. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bookie Boos. I know it's late as balls, but here we alls, okay? Benjamin, <gasps> you are first. Look, it looks like you're the only one. It's just me and you. Ooh, oh, never mind. There's Danny and Miss Santana. <laughs> Gustavo. Hey, boo. Samantha, I know. I know. I'm so late. I almost didn't show up. I was like, man, I'm going to get me some sleep. But I already had this thing up here, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> and so I'm here. Okay. <laughs> And so it is what it is, how it is, and stuff, and such. Oh, how's everybody doing tonight? The select few of us, you know. <laughs> Gustavo, let's see, J. Boo, Tony, Ruiz, Benjamin, Angelina. I thought it would be funny. Hey, Jack, what's up? Watch Daryl talk. <laughs> That's funny how I froze him right here. <laughs> Thought it would be funny to watch Daryl talk about his throttle body. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what's coming on Monday, right? Y'all know what's coming. Do you know? Do you know? I hope you know. Because it's coming. Let's see. Y'all hear me good? Let me know if y'all can hear me good. Okay. I know y'all don't be telling me the truth, so I'm going to have to check it out myself. Check out my audio. I got to check it out myself. Y'all be trying to be nice and be having mama with terrible audio. Hey, Superman. That's Superman. That Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, Mama will not be remarrying. But thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, you know? You know? It's nice to have an offer. In Arnold speak, I'll be back. All right, Tony. Cray cray. Yes. Yes, right. Hit the like button. Cray cray said hit the like button, y'all. Cray cray said it, so you got to do it. You ain't got no choice. You ain't got no choice, you know. Hit that like button for mama. Mm-hmm. Yes, nice to have an offer. Okay, good. In Arnold speak, I'll be All right, good. Good, good, good. Okay, it's okay. Need some mama and Daryl today. Oh, you're going to get it, and you're going to get it on Monday, too. Yes. Yes, it's trial time again, you guys. <laughs> it's only 9.30 where I am. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> it's almost midnight. <laughs> it's almost midnight over here, Samantha. Sheesh. For those here and coming in, guess what I'm going to say? Hit that like button right now. It sounds okay on my end. <laughs> thank you, boo. And thank you also for the confirmation that my audio is not trash. <laughs> oh, Jared. Hey, boo. And thank you, Samantha. Mama, I love you. Yes, she do. 1.30 p.m. here. You mean a.m., right? Wooies? You mean a.m., right? Uh, how can it be 1.30 p.m. anywhere right now? <laughs> Is there a place where it's 24 hours difference <laughs> uh, on the earth? Is there a place where there's 24 hours difference? Or or did Wooies mean a.m., 1.30 a.m.? I had to admit. What? No. How is that possible? What? What place is 24 hours difference than some other place on earth? 
in Australia, it's a whole day apart. Is that what you're telling me? It's 24 hours apart is what you're saying. Oh, no, that would be 12 hours. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you know, mama and math, you know. Mama's math don't be mathing and stuff. Mama, put up your link. Okay, all right, I will put up my link. And we're going to hop right on in here. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, because late. Because <laughs> late, that's why. Because late. Okay. Let's see. Membership link. Come on. Don't be a douche. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Paste that there. I'm going to push that button. Then I'm going to push this one. And bam. Done. Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, baby. Mama appreciates you. Yes, she do. Okay. Okay. Robert, hey, boo. Wow, 12 hours difference. That's crazy. 12 hours? Shit. I can't believe it. You know Mama is geographically challenged. Y'all know this. <laughs> <laughs> I have been nowhere and I know nothing, okay? Melanator, hey boo. <laughs> Mama is geographically challenged. All right, okay. It is what it is, you know? You know? It is what it is. I was trying to make some videos. I was like, man, I want to make some regular videos. You know, like back in the day, like my old videos where it was just me running my mouth, you know, and I made a video today about, um, you know, like, like marriage, <laughs> you know, how people be trying to scare people by people. I mean, guys, guys try to scare women into, into, into running to get married. You know, or, or just teasing them about marriage. You know, like, you're going to die alone. You know? <laughs> you know, I was just talking about how funny that, that this is like a funny statement. Just because, it, statistically speaking, men die first. Men die quicker, like faster, you know, even more so when they're married. They die earlier than their wives do. So even if a woman got married because she didn't want to die alone, she still would end up dying alone. Reason being, her husband's going to die first. I mean, that's, <laughs> statistically, that's what the case is. So she would spend her older years taking care of him until he passed on, and then she still die alone. Like, that's <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, look now, don't y'all let nobody trick y'all into doing that because of that reason, because it ain't going to work out. Promise you that, statistically speaking. You know what I'm saying? Keeping up with Bryce Rhodes and his case. Is there any news? That thing has been dragged on for like four years, I think. Man, that dude's going to be 80 years old before he get into trial. Is there news about it? Should I bother looking it up? <laughs> hey, Steve. What's up, baby? B. Galindo. What's up, baby? Ain't a case been a good since DB's. You hate him. But it was so entertaining. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm going to tell you what the key was. Him representing himself. And and him being Daryl, of course. And, I mean, come on. Him representing himself. Him claiming sovereign citizen. Him talking about his constitutional rights, even though he's also claiming sovereign citizen. <laughs> him blaming the car. Nobody showing up to back him up. Like his history, shot at his nephew, ran over his girlfriend, lives in his mother's car in his mother's driveway. <laughs> Got caught with no shoes on, walking around, trying to hold his hair in a man bun. Everything about this was hilarious, <laughs> except for, you know, what this was about. Literally. Like, I'll say everything about 
him and in his trial. Him, everything about him being him and him representing himself was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Put it to you like that. Okay. Hey, Casey, what's up, baby? Someone somewhere. Hey, boo. That's right. Just get a dog and die alone because you're going to do it anyways. You know what I'm saying? Life is finicky like that. But I had made this video. I made a couple videos just to see how they would be. Of course, they were fucking hilarious. <laughs> but I was just like, God, it's so weird. Like, I haven't done that kind of thing in so long. I haven't done it in so long. It's been forever. 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 Hit the like button, y'all. Go and hit that like button for mama. Okay. Do it. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I also made a video about how weird it is, okay, that I am stuck at 9,860 subs. I'm floating around that number. Like, from day to day, I'll get up to the 63. And then by the end of the day, it'll go down to 59. And then it'll go to 61. But I'm stuck in that 5,000, I mean, that, that 9,860 thing. So I'm like, how is that even possible? How does it move like it moves? And then literally you get stuck right at this one number. Like, what is that? It's so weird, but it's starting to bug me out. I know I told you, I tell you guys, it doesn't matter how many subs you get. And it doesn't. But it's starting to like, I'm starting to take it personal like it <laughs> I find myself starting to take it personal like it feels intentional you know <laughs> I just imagine a bunch of you know rebellious babies you know just subbing and unsubbing just to be dicks you know what I'm saying like that's what it feels like is happening I know that's probably not it but it's just starting to just bug me out I'm like what is that I'm so close to 10 that I'm just sick of it. I'm just like, how long am I going to be floating right underneath of this 10? Like statistically, I've, I've, I'm inside of the bracket of the lucky of the YouTubers. But I'm like stuck right under this 10 for some fucking reason. And I can't. <laughs> it really is starting to hurt mama's feelings. I'm not going to lie. It is. It's starting to hurt my feelings. Daryl is the perfect road. He is. He is. I've roasted a many for many a years. <laughs> and never have I ever come across a Daryl. <laughs> never have I ever. Everything that Daryl says, every move that Daryl makes, everything he does with his face is roastable. Everything about it, it's like he was born to be roasted. <laughs> Like when he was in the womb, he was just marinating, just waiting to come out and get roasted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, but Monday, yes, make sure that you tunes in, honey, because Monday, okay, Monday is the day, okay? Monday is the day. And Mama will be here live trying it again. You know, last time it ended up getting canceled. We were on there for like four hours. We were on live for like four hours, maybe five. I don't know how long that thing was. And of course, it was a no show because he, you know, he did what we thought he was going to do, which was fire his attorney <laughs> after he got all that good paperwork. <laughs> Get my files ready, okay? Get my files ready, you know, lawyer, so that I can fire you and take your work and claim it as my own, okay? Yes, hit that like button for mama. There's 69 people in here and 47 likes. Hit that like button. Samantha said, okay, siblings, I already said it once. Spread the love that is mama to all that you know. Yes, yes, yes. Hit the, hit the little button. That button I'll be telling you all about. Hit that button. Hit the button. Y'all want to see what it is? Look, this, 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 this button right here. We're going to hit. We're going to hit. Where is it? Where? 
Oh, I gotta move it over a little bit. Hold on a second. How do I move it over? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I, I blocked it. Hold on. I locked it. Yes, I did. Okay. It's this button right here. This one. This button. Right here. See it? See it? Bam. Bam. You're going to hit that share button right there. This one. You're going to hit this. And then this is going to come up. Hold on. Dang it. Oh, I forgot. I can't even... <laughs> That's some bullshit. Because <laughs> this box won't move. <laughs> but this box comes up, and then there's a little blue button that says copy. You're going to click that button. Okay. Oh, you do that for me. You ain't got to send it to nobody. Just click the copy button. Okay. And then YouTube will assume the rest. <laughs> okay. You do that for mama. Do that for mama. Okay. Get you back in the center here, Daryl. Sit in the center. Yes. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Hey, John. What's up, baby? Charambi or Karambi. Judy. Hey, boo. Megan Untold. What's up, baby? Clayton Bax. Christine. Sherry. Fatback Cat. Hey, booze. Erica Fine, Jesse, what's going on? Mama's trying to figure out why the algorithm is is neglecting her. Well, I already know why. I've I've, I've been being a little bit lazy. <laughs> I've been being a little bit lazy, you know, with my YouTubes. Even though I'm on here every day in some capacity. Something's coming across every single day, which is way more than a whole lot of most people do with their YouTube. But for my own standards, it's, I've been pretty lazy with it. But starting in September, I'll be going part time at work. So I'll be like, I'll be live a lot. <laughs> I'm going to be live a lot in September. I could tell you that now. It'll be a lot of posting. A lot of videos, a lot of lives, a lot. So, thank you, Aaron. Oh, it's a fox. It's a fox. You know I love the foxes. Those are my favorite super stickers. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. They're too cute. They're undeniably cute. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you for my fox. It's cute. What did it say? Number one. Number one, oh, thank you, baby. Thank you, boo. Mama do love you. Yes, she do. Mm. <laughs> oh, we started my 33rd year of what? 33rd year of what? Explain to me, Tots. Hey, to, hey Tots, what's up, baby? Alessandra, y'all ready to hop in here? Let's hop on in here. Let's get it done. Let's get it in. You know what I'm saying? Make it do what it do. Daryl, what's going on with you? You got any ideas about how you're going to get yourself out of this, huh? <laughs> what? No? Oh. <laughs> I thought I'd ask, you know. I mean, you know, you might have thought you might have came up with something. I want to assume. <laughs> I don't want to be unfair and assume, you know. I don't want to assume that you still are an idiot. Even though clearly you are. Let me adjust this real quick. Adjust this real quick. There we go. Tighten that back up. There we go. With this thing jingling. Get jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. Hey, Timmy Miller. What's up, Timmy? Why do I feel like I ain't seen you in a while, Timmy? 
Is, am I am I wrong about that? I feel like I have not seen you in a while in my lives. Am I wrong about that, or is it just been maybe you've been not co- like like inconsistent maybe in coming in? So maybe I'm. I feel like I don't say your name very much. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if Mama's memory is failing her. <laughs> In the meantime, we're going to hop on in here and see what's going on. I was a prime baby. 9, 30, 90. Oh, wow. You're only 33. You a youngin. You a youngin, honey. I got a good, what, 15 years on you? <laughs> or 12, 12 years. I was 12 years old when you were born. Ain't that crazy? I was 12. <laughs> I was on my way to freaking uh, high school. What? I was about to go to high school and shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, Pooh Sweets. What's up, baby? Mama, what you doing? I'm on here with you, Rocky Mountain Resale. What you mean what I'm doing? I'm sitting here. With my baby, it's okay. Just having a little talk. Hey, Aaron. Well, you know, the other Aaron. Got a couple Aaron's. Got my two Aaron's. All right. Let's see what's going on with Daryl. He's giving us this look. He must got some kind of idea, some kind of trick up his sleeve. <laughs> oh, let's increase this a little bit. There we go. All right. What's up? What's up, Daryl? Don't just sit there and stare at us like this. Say something. <laughs> oh. Oh, you like that last one? <laughs> They're all funny. You know why? Because Daryl is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl's hilarious. To talk about Daryl and not be funny seems like it would be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even look at him without laughing. That's just, that's just real. You know what I'm saying? Case number 21, CF 1848. May I have the appearances, please? Good morning, Judge Sue Upper, Leslie Basie, and Zach Wachow appearing for the state of Wisconsin. I'm here as a third party intervener in that matter, appearing as authorized representative for my client. Uh-huh. I accept for value and return for value all of the charging instruments in this matter and make my exemption available for the discharge of all obligations and charges connected with this case. Okay. I do not dispute any of the facts in the charging instruments and make a reservation of all my rights here this morning. Mm-hmm. What else? Any all requests? rights reserved. All right, good morning. Ooh, God, all the the records reflect the individual known to this court as Daryl Brooks is present right in person in custody. Whoever he is wearing street clothes, a suit and tie, and a mask. Daryl, you got the right to remain silent too? No? Ugh. <laughs> no. Oh. It is noted. All right, Mr. Brooks, just preliminarily, uh, do you anticipate calling any additional witnesses today? For the record, I don't consent to being called that name. And what was the question? Do you <laughs> anticipate calling any witnesses today? Daryl focused on the wrong thing. Um, I don't. I don't believe today. Well, we are here for the continuation of testimony. Um, the only witness that I'm aware of that's on your list that I that you added uh, is your mother, Dawn Woods, so I would expect that if she's going to testify, she would be here. Otherwise, um, I will be going through the colloquy with you as to whether you intend to testify. Dang, Daryl. Damn. Where your mama at? (laughs) Remember, remember, hey, Daryl, remember when you had said, (laughs) if I tell her to come here, she coming. And that's that on that. Ain't nothing else to talk about. If I call her right now, she gonna go. She gonna bust right in this door, okay, in her pajamas if she got her. But she gonna show up for her baby boy is what I'm telling you. And now everybody else has come through and talked they shit about you, bars. But no dawn, huh? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Dang, it's almost like it's almost like uh. 
She don't love you or something. Is that it? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that were it. Just asking if that's it. Today or not. Did you receive my um, ICS? Gonna, oh, he gonna act like he ain't hear the question? He ain't hear the question, y'all. <laughs> he like, did you get them papers that I had sent? <laughs> we need to talk about more important things. You know, like that email I sent you about, you know, you giving me a freedom sandwich, you know, during the lunch break. You slipping me one. Did, did, can we talk about that? I don't want to talk about my mother and how she didn't show up like I swore she would. <laughs> you going to change the subject, Daryl? That's what you're going to do? Okay. All right, Daryl. Just change the subject. We'll act like it didn't happen, okay? We're going to pretend like it didn't happen. All right. Poo Sweets. Oh, welcome to Mama's membership, boo. Mama appreciates you. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. Yes. Yes. Yes, she do. Members is what mama need. Mama need members. <laughs> mama need memberships. Yes. Yes. Mama appreciates some memberships. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. It's been forever. It's been forever. Yes. They are far and few in between, but they be coming. I thank you, baby pie. Okay. Thank you, honey pie. For becoming a member. Yes, everybody say thank you, Pooh Sweets. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Samantha, she couldn't get there because he wrecked her ride. I know that's right. She should have called him at the jail and say, Daryl, call me an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> I called you an Uber. After that thing you had did that you ain't confessing to, you been here lying about, I called you an Uber. How come you can't call me no Uber? You know what I'm saying? You better call her an Uber, Daryl, if you want her to show up. She ain't got no car. And you know this, man. Oh. Did I address to you? Oh, I haven't looked. Let me look. Oh, I bet he do wear his box. <laughs> Actually, I just went to. You. Oh my God! I just caught on to that. Like I, I was gonna, I was gonna agree just because he's backwards. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, that is a good one. <laughs> That's a very, very good one. B. B. Galindo said, "I heard Daryl wears his boxers backwards now." <laughs> just in case you slow like Mama, the hole. So the hole is in the back. You get it? You get it? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> for easy access you know what i'm saying for easy access bubba bubba don't like to be wasting no time time is <clears throat> cheeks i guess i i don't know what to tell you that daryl but yeah yeah that's definitely true i heard that as well i heard it when you just said it and it feels like it's true sounds true to me i'll accept it <laughs> you and then one to the prosecution <laughs> Is the audio on? It is. AJ, how you The audio is on. <coughs> oh, mama love you too, Pooh Sweet. Yes, you do. Thanks again for being a member. Wow. Do you know when you sent those? Yeah, do you uh, Saturday. know? Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Was it Saturday? Do you have a busy Saturday, Daryl? Or no? So that would have been the 22nd. Uh-huh. State receive anything through, like the inner office communication? We have not. I just checked uh, this morning to see if there's anything new. Nothing has. Hey, Francis. Been received at my office. Uh, Francis De La Rue. <clears throat> that sounds classic. And I should say the uh, clerical that was assisting me went to the mail room to double check. Hey, Sherry. So not only has it not made its way to the DA's office, it hasn't even made its way over to the. Mailbag. I can email the jail administrator to find out if there's anything in transit, if there's no objection from the parties, from the state. No objection. From you, sir? No objection. I, I definitely want those uh, documents received if they, they obtain uh, important information. Oh, do they? Oh, okay. 
And you said you forwarded them to a staff member on Saturday? Yes. Do you know if that was morning, afternoon, or some other time? Um, maybe afternoon. And those are two ICF forms? Yeah, one addressed to you directly and one addressed to the district attorney's office. Banging on these keys like this. She ain't even typing nothing. She pretending to be doing something. He know it too. He like, she ain't even pushing no button. She just pretending. Daryl's thinking, she typed fast. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> you impressed, Daryl? You impressed that she got a job? You know. I'm sending that. I will send it with high importance and we'll see what response I get. Um, <laughs> but I don't have anything. If you want to generally tell me the topic, we can cover it verbally. Yeah, say something, Daryl. Uh, the topic is uh, mm -hmm. pertaining to uh, exculpatory evidence. Uh -huh. uh, so some things were it. learned and uh, once they came to my attention. I felt the need to immediately address the court of, about this information. Um, All right, what the, information? Make an offer of proof for me, sir. Hey, the uh, the Michelle. expert witness uh, for the prosecution in, in regards to, um, I believe it was oh. inspecting the vehicle. <laughs> uh, oh, poor sweet says. I watch you so much, my six-year-old tells me when you're live. <laughs> she told my sister I don't watch TV. I'm on YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. Oh, yes, honey. Yes. Oh, so your six-year-old recognizes me. That's hilarious. She's like, look, here she is. She's on. Look. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. Yes, backward boxers keep little Deb just a little tender. Little tender, that's why he be in here tooting it up in the courtroom, yes. These papers are with his letters from Erica, LOL. You know... If he had them, they would be stuck to his forehead. I know, right? <laughs> this right here, what he's talking about is this whole, um, is this thing with the, uh, the throttle body. He's going to be talking about this car. It ain't his fault, you see. And he's going to ask for something I've, that is just hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe he even forms his lips to say it, to be honest with you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Samantha. Mama love you. Yes, she do. Mm. Yeah, he would have stapled that to his his uh, unfortunate hairline. Officer Ryan Schultz. Um, hey, Matt. Question was asked of did he know if there were any uh, recalls on that vehicle? Mm. And, and then what, Daryl? I believe that. What you believe? Uh, a Brady claim should be visited uh -huh. because there were, in fact, recalls on that vehicle. In, in fact, there were recalls on the Ford Escape models uh -huh. from 2008 through 2010 um, in regards to the throttle body malfunctioning uh -huh. and causing the vehicles to accelerate and not being able to be stopped. Um, there is a class action lawsuit where Ford Company were sued because of this and those uh -huh. vehicles models from the year 2008 through 2010 were recalled uh -huh. and don't buck your eyes that's gonna help <laughs> that is very important information in regards to like you know then what had happened was you know and then there was a recall you see <laughs> and the throttle body you know i mean but like, well, what about when you ran over Erica's foot a couple weeks earlier? Was that the throttle body, too? I mean, that throttle body, why you keep driving around in this thing when the throttle body's trying to kill people, Daryl? 
I mean, your throttle body, the throttle body in your car has got, it has carry tendencies. <laughs> Not carry, I'm sorry, Christine. I was thinking Carrie's the one. Yeah, it got Christine tendencies. Daryl's car was turning into a Christine. Just driving around trying to murk folks, honey. The vehicle in question being mm -hmm. a Ford Escape. Hey, Amanda. 2010. Um, this information is very easily obtained <laughs> just by pulling it up and you will see a class action lawsuit. Obviously, if it's a class action lawsuit. Amanda said, my kids say, you still watching that parade guy? I said, yes, yes, I am. Mind your business. <laughs> that's all. Just mind your business. Just mind your business. I know that's right. Loretta. Hey, boo. Hey, pumpkin. So then it's pretty easy to. So what's your request, sir? Yeah, what's your uh, request? Here we go. Here we go. My request uh -huh. is. What you need, Daryl? You know, because this is your world. We just some squirrels. To find out if Officer Schultz knew. Uh-huh. To find out if the prosecution knew mm -hmm. that there was a recall on those vehicles. Uh-huh. And then what? Go ahead and say it. And so I can laugh. <laughs> in light of. Uh -huh. The uh, uh -huh. the fact that these vehicles were recalled mm -hmm. because of this malfunctioning yeah. uh, throttle body. Yeah. For uh, I believe it's. Come on, just say it, Daryl. Don't beat around the bush. Counts one through seventy-three to be dismissed. Oh yes. All right. What's the response from the? <laughs> I like to know what was going on in her head when he said that. I mean, because of that, I think we need to dismiss all the charges, you know, like like all the stuff that had to do with my car in the parade need to be dismissed. Y'all need to just, it's like it didn't even happen. <laughs> you know, that's, that, that's what y'all need to do, because law. Because <laughs> law and because Daryl, okay? So all you need to know, get me up out of here, okay? Oh, Daryl, you tried it. I would like to know what the judge was thinking when he said that, though. Like, I feel like she was like, like there was this pause of like where she turned her head. She was like, okay, uh, prosecution, what do you think about this? <laughs> like, really, Daryl? Really? The state defending? Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, as Trooper Schultz testified um, during his examination um, consistent Damn. with our research there are no active recalls listed for the Ford Escape as Trooper Inspector Schultz noted noted during his testimony that uh, Ford listed an extended warranty for the throttle body on the escape. oh my god Aaron <laughs> Aaron said Daryl getting his body throttled a lot nowadays <laughs> Daryl is getting his body throttled. Damn, they throttling his body. Shit. That's the most throttling a body has ever had, okay? Why do you think that Dawn Woods never set foot inside the courtroom to support her son? Why do I think that? Because she thought they were going to cuff her. John, I think she ain't going to come in there because she knows she next. That was another one of the videos that I made. Like last night, I was just making a bunch of random videos. And that was another one I was like talking about what is going to happen with with Dawn, like what what I think will happen versus what I think should happen, and why, right? And that's why she won't come in there because she knows she called them she called them police and lied, and if she got on that stand. They're gonna be like, have her put her hand up and she gonna fucking lie, and then she gonna go to jail. That's why, John, that's why she didn't want to come in there. That plus, she probably don't like looking at Daryl. <laughs> she like, no, way. he's representing himself, which means he's going to get to talk to me. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what day was it? Oh, I'm going to be busy that day. <laughs> but like, well, we don't know exactly what day it is. Whatever day it is, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy on Daryl days. That's how my schedule is set up. On Daryl days, I'm busy. There. 
not coming is what I'm saying to you. Thank you, John. Thank you, boo. Mama do love you. Yes, she do. Mm. <laughs> oh. Escape. The warranty was extended to 10 years of age and 150,000 miles. The Escape is more than 10 years old and has more than 150,000 oh, miles. Um, also, he girl. noted specifically in his report that he did not note any defect in the throttle body as previously described in this report. Nah, bro. Um, there was no recall in the throttle body. Um, NHTSA did do an investigation into allegedly defective Ford throttle bodies, which would have impacted this year. Mm -hmm. Basically, the electronic throttle body failures would have resulted in engine stall or surge while entering traffic from a stop position or while driving at highway speeds. Um, neither of which I believe occurred here. Yes, they Further, sue her. Uh, Inspector Schultz would testify that um, that does not prevent the brake from working. So if this had hey, been activated on this car, which it was not, but if it had been, and well, this defendant would have pushed down on the brake, um, it would have stopped the car. Uh, further, if this was a problem, there would have been um, the malfunction indicator lamp or the wrench light would have been illuminated as Trooper Schultz, um, or Inspector Schultz testified when he started the vehicle and checked the um, indicator lights, none of them were lit. Further, if there was this, he would have um, observed material buildup on the commutator. Um, there was no such buildup observed. There were no problems um, with the throttle, um, she probably ain't had no electronic throttle body. Um, that was part of his report. Uh, therefore, this is, although there may have been some cars who had this problem, um, the <coughs> car that the defendant was driving on this day did not have that problem. That was testified during the, or the um, vehicle inspection. The defendant had the opportunity to cross-examine Inspector Schultz um, with regard to that. And again, in running uh, the defendant's mom's um, VIN number through NHTSA, um, National Highway um, Traffic and Safety Administration. Um, there are, for this particular VIN number, for this car that the defendant was driving, zero unrepaired recalls. Mm -hmm. So it's a mood issue. It's I don't believe it's a mood issue. Uh, oh, no. And I actually okay. have... Uh, uh -huh. What you got, Daryl? It should, the report should be <laughs> Mm -hmm. And the mail room, as we speak, I had yeah. everything uh, sent over priority mail. The actual oh, uh, information about the class action lawsuit, the actual information. How dare all afford to be sending something priority mail? <laughs> Where you get money from? Boy, if you don't cut your fingernails. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at, Look at this. That's a lot, Daryl. That's a lot of fingernail, okay? It's too much. It's more than you need is what I'm saying to you, okay? What is going on with this here fingernail? Who is you trying? Oh, my God. This one's even longer. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this one? Where where did this one break off at? Or should I say, who, who did this break off on? Or should I say... Who did this break off in? I, I don't know. <laughs> How do I need to put this, Daryl? Is what I'm is what I'm asking you. I <laughs> oh, don't close your eyes like that. I know you know the answer to the question that I'm asking. Stop playing coy. <laughs> you know these fingernails. His he know his hands got to stink. Because you know he ain't washing his fucking hands. he just be in that cell scratching his fucking ass for hours and hours and hours. And then he comes in here just touching on all this stuff on his table. It's making everything smell like a Daryl, which nothing in the world should ever smell like. He has better nails than me. Long nails on men drive me crazy. I know. I've seen a couple dudes like that. Whenever I see, it's like, oh, honestly, the only guy, I only ever see black dudes like that. I don't, 
I don't think I've ever seen a white dude with like long nails. If I ever saw that, it probably would be like, 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 like one of, like a hippie, like a hippie, like a white dude who's like a hippie. It's probably the only kind of white dude who would, who would do that. <laughs> it's always black dudes. Like they, they, it's like for some reason, it's like they like to have them long ass fucking nails on. <laughs> like who is you fighting? Who, who you about to scratch? Like. <laughs> You ain't late, Maryland. You right on time, boo. You right on time because you here. And, and here means on time, okay? That's what that equals, all right? That's Samantha. Them long-ass nails. His nails is long as shit. I can't get mine to grow that long. They, 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 they'll chip on a side, and then I'll just rip it off. <laughs> yes. That's what had happened, okay? Hey, Stacy. Hey, boo. About the uh, the recalls for those models, like I said, uh -huh. it, uh, tw uh, 2008 through 2010. Mm -hmm. Now, in all fairness, yeah. Your Honor, fair. uh, <laughs> that's why I was asking for a, a Brady a Brady claim mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. Um, hey, Susan. Seeing as how when uh, vehicles are purchased from the manufacturer, they're still sold as is. The there there would be no is. way to know that there's anything malfunctioning with the vehicle until it actually happens. And seeing this, a class action lawsuit. Uh, Dixie, hey boo. No one would sue the Ford company that like button for mama y'all go and hit that like button and if you are not subscribed if you are watching and you are not subscribed i'm gonna need for you to go on and hit that subscribe button and if you are subscribed okay you would like to support mama on a regular basis i got this here membership link pinned to the top of the chat feel free to click on that and become a member mama will truly truly appreciate it yes she would yes she would very, very much so. Yes, for sure. For sure. So. Okay. If there weren't malfunctioning vehicles, there would be no class action lawsuit if these vehicles were not malfunctioning. Uh huh. And I believe with, with that, mm -hmm. like I said, the information is easily obtainable. Yeah. Um, I should have the information in the mailroom right now uh -huh, um, you should. Okay. that you can readily view this information about uh -huh. the class action lawsuit, about the Tell recall. About the on, it wasn't just the it's 2010 the model in question. It was <laughs> 2008 through 2010. Oh. What? Um, oh, I didn't know it was through 2010. Oh, yeah, you guys to let him go. <laughs> like all the way through 2010? What? Word? Word down, word, word up. Oh, mom, I say. <laughs> Daryl is really trying his case and my nerves. He's trying my his case and my nerves at the same time. Okay. Oh, yes, Sonny. Daryl's trying the nerves. The information about the malfunctioning pertains strictly to the throttle body. Uh huh. Let me address Clark your claim, him. sir. Yeah, look at him. So, um, <laughs> not trying to cut you off, I don't need the specifics about a class action because as it relates to this case, the fact that there's a class action would not mean there's a Brady violation by the state. In fact, you even indicate it was readily known and something you were able to find out. Uh -huh. um, I'd further note that you had a full and fair opportunity to cross-examine uh, the inspector regarding his mechanical inspection. Um, it's not new information. Nope. And more importantly, as it relates to this particular Shut vehicle, based upon the testimony of uh, Inspector Schultz, um, it's speculative as to whether this vehicle would be impacted, number one, by the class action, and number two, uh, got a first timer in here stranger than fiction welcome boo welcome to mama's live this your first time in here get comfortable 
get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You found your home. <laughs> you found your home. Get comfortable. <laughs> Welcome, boo. You could have been anywhere, but you're here with mama. Yes, you all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Redini. How you doing, pumpkin? Shanessi. Just in case you didn't hear me, because I said it while the video was playing. Shanessi, how you doing, boo? Okay. Any throttle body uh, problems. Uh, because, again, there was a full inspection. That report was provided to you. He testified on direct examination about there being no active recalls, and more importantly, he testified about uh, what uh, impact uh, the throttle body would have and what he would expect to see if there were any issues uh, with it. Um, I am aware that the I Oh, thank you, Susan. Susan said, love your pretty mama. Oh, Susan thinks I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs> Susan thinks I'm cute. Oh, thank you, boo. Appreciate you, honey pot. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Indeed, I do. I appreciate you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Susan. Mm. That's for you. Catch it and put it in your pocket, okay? Don't let nobody take it from you, okay? <laughs> oh, my baby so sweet. ICF, I did receive an email. It's one page uh, with um, what you said. It's, I have to turn my head. I gotta figure out how to flip it. So give me a second. Okay. Just for the record, you're Hold on, let me finish my record, okay? Yeah, let me finish. Um, so I'm gonna turn because it's the only way I can read. It says, your ICF says the state's expert witness who did the inspection on the vehicle in this incident needs to be recalled. No later than Wednesday, I just learned of some information that is extremely vital. Um, so um, I, I understand the information that you're providing me, but again, you had a full and fair opportunity to cross-examine this witness. This information was mm -hmm. apparently well known I'd also note the vehicles registered to your mother. And from my understanding of recalls, I think what is common knowledge is that a registered owner would receive uh, information regarding the recalls and what to do. Uh -huh. um, and presumably she would have provided that information uh, to anyone operating that vehicle or taking care of it. We have none of that information before us by way of fact or even an offer of proof that even she received that information and did nothing with it or whether um, anyone else who operated that uh, did Carol. anything with it or not. The bottom line is there is Carol, absolutely the no Brady violation by the state. This is not the type of information they would have been required to turn over. Um, and from my understanding and review of Exhibit 83, um, what's important to this case is that the mechanical inspection specifically looked at that issue nonetheless mm -hmm. and found that as to this particular vehicle, uh, there were no issues with that that would have impacted the mechanical function uh, during the incident in question. Um, I'll accept the state's offer of proof as to what would have been the issues based upon the information provided. And again, without anything further from you by way of your offer of proof, I can't uh, make a finding, number one, that there's a Brady violation, and number two, that the information you seek to cross-examine him on would have any impact whatsoever. So I'll deny the request wasn't. to dismiss the case, and I'll deny the request to recall this witness. Yeah. Okay. Cause duh, <laughs> Daryl. Now come on, <laughs> come on. Clearly, uh, come on. Really, Daryl? That's that's what you chose to try. You know what? It ain't even my fault. I, I didn't even do nothing. It was the car. It just like started doing crazy shit. It was like talking and everything. I mean, I was afraid for my life too, Your Honor. Your Honor. I am a victim as well, okay? My house attacked me. <laughs> and while it was attacking me, you know, everybody else just, you know, they were just in the way while that their fight was happening between me and my vehicle, slash my house, slash my mother's car. <laughs> 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 
It wasn't my fault. It's Ford. It's Ford, I tell you. You know, it was prejudice. <laughs> Ford was prejudiced, Your Honor. Okay. It knew that this was going to happen to me. You know, I was set up. I was framed, you know, by Big Pharma or something. You know, just them, anything. <laughs> It ain't my fault. That's what I'm getting at. It ain't my fault. Did I do that? It ain't my fault. Who I, um, let me have the state just make their statement. I'll give you the last word on it. Go ahead. Yeah, the um, the inspector Schultz's mechanical inspection report was provided to the defense on April 29th, 2022. Mm -hmm. I noted that when the defendant was cross examining Inspector Schultz, um, he did have the report in front of him and it was questioning, um, asking questions directly related to information contained in that report. All right, go ahead, Mr. Brooks. The, when you spoke to the owner of the vehicle, that's who gave me the information. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. mother gave me the information of, of uh -huh. this. I didn't, I had no knowledge until she told me. And well, well you did. that's how I came into the information and she was the one that's you just said it was on the internet and that's how you found it and it was very easy to find and it was obvious information that anybody should have seen and now that the judge say that it's well that's how i found out because my mama had told me <laughs> well the judge don't talk to your mama on a daily basis okay that's not a thing that happens so if you're saying it was found out from your mama that's a you issue okay <laughs> You the only one talking to that woman, unfortunately for her. <laughs> Said I'm gonna send you all the information that you need uh -huh. so you can present it to the court. Hey Mama T. So I, I didn't I understand that, sir, this but your request is not timely. So you mm -hmm. have had this information for quite some time, either through counsel. I did not have it for quite Let some time. Let me make time. my record just, either through counsel. It was just told to me. That's not what I'm saying. You've had Yeah, that's a you problem. Look at him. He's such a fucking liar. The truth don't live inside this thing. I almost called him a man. Luckily, I caught myself. <laughs> I don't like to be wrong, and I would have been wrong if I had said that. You know what I'm saying? Daryl, look at this. It, the, 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 there's nothing good inside of him. Ain't nothing good in there. He's a fucking liar. He ain't insane. He's just a douchebag. He's a shitty, shitty, shitty human. He's one of those things outside that make it so hard to go out there. <laughs> he's one of those peoply people. <laughs> oh, he's the most peoply. <laughs> he's why I stay in the house, why I don't want to go outside, why my mission is to, to never have to go outside ever again to create a cave for myself that doesn't require me to leave my cave, you know? It's people like Daryl that make me never want to go outside, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the tantrum. Look at it. Look at this. It's in his eyes, Samantha. It's in his eyes, the tantrum. It's, it's back there just hovering right around here <laughs> actually it's probably here <laughs> his tantrum is here it's gonna run down the hairline <laughs> you know it's pretty far back so it's gonna have a long way to go to get to the eyes <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have a long way to go okay yes man child man child he says he know all about brady claims but says he doesn't understand he killed people. Yeah, he don't understand that. I don't understand the charges, Your Honor. <laughs> what am I here for? <laughs> oh, my God. Surely it's not about those folks that were under my car. It ain't about that, is it? It can't be. It can't be. Oh, no. All my cars are Fords. I better be nice to them. Mama did. You wash your beautiful hair. No. I have not washed my hair. I, I ain't wa <laughs> I ain't gonna tell y'all how long it's been. It's been a long ass time though. It's been like I ain't gonna say. <laughs> 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 it's been 
it's been too long though it's been too long since you've been gone now i'm just usually such a small icon on here you guys can't kind of see the, you guys are probably picking up on a bunch of details right now <laughs> I don't like to hang out this close to the camera. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to change my, um, I'm trying to take the advice of some of my, the other YouTubers and stuff about formats and stuff like that. Like right now I'm using my phone camera, the back part of my phone camera, because the, like the resolution is better. Right. And, um, you know, like, I got this bright-ass fucking light on, which I hate. You guys know I hate that. I got this bright-ass light on, but I'm trying to increase, say, the quality of my videos and such and such and how and things. Okay? <laughs> Etc. <cetera. laughs> uh, basically, I'm trying to put a little more effort into, you know, I'm just basically on here turning this thing on and just being me. But I need to you know, add a little bit more, you know, I don't know what the fuck you call it, something. But I, <laughs> so this is me trying to change up some things, just trying to see what works, try some different stuff. You know, so I got rid of my green screen. I used to hide with my green screen. It's easy to hide with that thing. So that's what I was doing. So now I'm trying to not do that anymore. But thank you, Samantha. Mama love you. Yes, yeah, she do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your honor. Yes, your honor. Your honor, Superman. Your honor, you got to let me go. Beautiful wreck. I have extra long hair and it's pain to wash. So it has been a while for me to. So don't feel bad. Oh, I don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I just, you know, it's, it's a little bit. You know, I don't know, embarrassing or something. I don't know. I honestly, I'm not embarrassed either. <laughs> it is what it is. I have a lot of fucking hair. It's just the struggle is real. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, it's not even a struggle. I'm just lazy as shit. You know, I <laughs> honestly, that's just what it is. I get home and I come in here and I sit here and I plot on getting on here. When I'm thinking about what I'm going to do on here, I don't feel like there's time for anything else. Like, I, like I'm, I'm all consumed, you know, with this. And so my hair is like the least of my concerns. <laughs> I w like, like it hasn't gotten like it did last time, like where it was so much, I had so much edge control from like, packing on edge control every day it get it was so many layers of it that it got so bad that i i was like oh my god i have i i gotta it's killing me like i, I gotta wash it and so i did and so you know but right now it's like eh, it's all right <laughs> <laughs> it ain't too bad it's mm, I got time i'm so good mm, you know what i'm saying it looks all extra poofy and making me all jealous. Oh, you don't want this. This is a this is called a split end type situation. Okay, this ain't what you want to envy. Okay, we want to envy Doro, Judge Doro's hair. You know what I'm saying? Like mine is. That's see. Look, notice that it, it ain't no whole lot of movement going on here. Well, yeah. Oh, y'all yeah, want to see all my grays? Let's see all my grays. I could probably, y'all could probably see, yeah, y'all could see, all y'all could see my gray is good like this, huh? Look at all that gray. She gray, mama all gray in the middle. This whole center here under this ponytail is 100% gray. <laughs> I don't dye it. It's, it's, it's all, this is my natural color too. I haven't dyed it like in like four years. I've lightened it and all that light hair grew out. So all that hair is gone. So now I'm. This is all 100% natural. No relaxer. No color. No nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. The situation is real. It's it's a situation I got going on. 
Do you remember shooting tubs? What is shooting tubs? You mean like literally like shooting at tubs and making the porcelain shatter? I've never done that. I don't know. If <laughs> Seems like it'd be interesting to watch. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. What's the deal, chat? Hey, Big A. What's up, baby? Nicole. Hey, honey. I went natural a few years ago, and I be too tired to do it. Yes. I'll get braids and call it a day, I can say. I love my curls. I I did that in 2018. In November of 2018, I cut all my hair off. I cut my hair down to about, it was about four inches long all the way around. I looked like Frederick Douglass. <laughs> I was like, I want curls. I want my natural curls. I feel like I'm supposed to have my natural curls. I cut off all my hair. I was a hair. I, I had long hair then too, but it was all relaxed hair, just chemically relaxed hair, like straightened. And I just grew it all back out. It just, well, it grew back. I didn't do shit. It just grew back out. <laughs> And it was supposed I was supposed to be wearing my hair all big and curly, my big curls. But I'm too fucking lazy. It's a, I, I was I didn't respect who I was. So I I didn't respect the fact that I'm lazy as shit and that I was not gonna do I wasn't gonna do wash days where and you know and you know, wash and goes. I'm not that girl. So what I do? I wash my hair, blow dry it, flat iron it. I could have done that with my hair relaxed. <laughs> and it would have said, but then again, I like it kind of big like this. Even when I straighten it, it's still a little bit big. I like, I kind of like it better like that. Like, I feel like I have a big face. Like, I feel like I have a Daryl face. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I feel like I have a long face. So I feel like me with bigger hair, just, I, I just feel like it looks better than me when my hair was straight 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 like flat and dead <laughs> the information about this report for quite some time either through prior counsel or through um all of the discovery that was turned over to you when you took over your representation of your own case the fact that you have not b galindo is in here talking crazy talk look at this thick curls is best to pull what kind of situation do you think you walked into here b galindo <laughs> B. Galindo, what's going on? What 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 what's popping, dog? I mean, you know, you're saying some weird stuff. I'ma need you to stop it, okay? I'ma need you to cut it out. <laughs> now learn this. Um, it's a little bit too late, and I understand that may seem fair to you. But when I even when I consider the information that you're providing to me. Mm -hmm. It's, it's speculative on your part as to whether there's any impact on this particular vehicle. It ain't. Because of the inspection that was done. Uh-huh. And you had a full and fair opportunity to cross-examine the inspector you about did. information that was readily obtainable and researchable by you prior to the time that you uh, cross-examined this witness. It was not really readily available for me to expect at the time I don't have access to the internet so how, how would I be able to mr. Brooks you're telling me your mother had that information no, so I'm, and I'm gonna you, trust she just told me this information I have the phone calls to prove it I understand that I'm denying the request sir and I would I would like a uh, I so that's my that. decision. I object to that, Your Honor. I understand. I I've made my decision. That. I expect that you respect the decision, at least no. as we're not going to no. debate it further. I don't respect yes. it. I now have the um, yeah. ICF, um, the one from the state, addressed, to provide for the state. Um, Madam Clerk, I just gave that to you. Is Daryl trying to have this here fit for me? <laughs> it need to be addressed. Look, I don't know what to tell you, Your Honor. You just got to address it. <laughs> Look, I didn't make the rules, Your Honor. Okay? I just made the rules. You know? That's all. Oh, Daryl. If only anyone cared. <laughs> if only anyone cared. All right. So, Mr. I respectfully Brooks, object. I res Hit the like button. If you're just passing through, hit that like button for Mama, okay? Please.
and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Sheesh. Respectfully object, Your Honor, and request a legal reconsideration of your ruling, Your Honor. Okay. Um, so de it's denied. The request for reconsideration is denied. There's no legal basis for me to do that. I respectfully reject that ruling and take exception to that ruling, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Brooks, we need to keep going. For the record, may I request a legal or factual basis for your ruling, Your Honor? I mean, you can ask for it. You I provided an oral ruling today. The record stands, sir. For the record, may I respectfully request a written judicial finding of facts and conclusion of law on this issue? Your request is denied. For the record, may I respectfully move for an interlocutory declaratory appeal of this matter? Um, I wouldn't be the one you would make that request to, sir. So I can't. For the record, may I move yes to stay no. these proceedings until the instant matter is adjudicated by a court of competent jurisdiction? That request is denied. Based on what law or fact, Your Honor? The request is denied. Based on what law or fact, what, Your Honor? Any other requests, sir? I'd like to move on. Based on what law? There's no or legal fact. basis that you've stated for me to do that, sir. Oh, Daryl. There has it has been, Your Honor. Cut the request out, is denied. The request is not a proper motion. It's there's no legal support for the motion. There's no factual support Marty. for the motion, so it's denied. For the record, it appears that this court is acting in contempt oh. of the law, Your Honor. Oh, thank you, Marty. Marty said hi. It is a little late. I had to at least say hi to Mama. <gasps> oh. Hey, Marty. Thank you for coming in just to say hello. Make sure you hit the like button, boo. <laughs> Mama will appreciate you. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Okay. For sure. For sure. Can you show me how or where this court is following the law of respect, respect in this matter? That's a very vague uh, statement, sir. There's no legal relief that you're claiming. There's no motion before the court based in law or fact. Nope. Um, so this court cannot address that last statement of yours. Your Honor, with all due respect, I would like a motion for finding a fact. Denied. Under what law? Uh, Fact, I made an oral ruling, sir. There's no requirement. I do so in writing. So you're denying a legal, uh, you're deny denying a motion for finding a fact. I am. So how do I know what you're doing is legal, Your Honor? All right, Mr. Brooks, we're going to move forward. Um, at this time, I want to. Um, how do I know that this this is legal, Your Honor? Can you show me that it's legal? Mr. Brooks, um, we're moving forward. So your doesn't request is like denied. It, it doesn't seem Mr. like Mr. Brooks, I need to give you some advisement. It doesn't seem like you're that you I don't need, I don't need your advice. Um, I mean, no, I have I to need give you, you advisements, sir, regarding I your right you to, to testify. Do, I need to do your job. Ooh, look at him. Hey, 23 Productions. Hey, boo. What's up with you? Hello. Hello. Without prejudice and without Mr. Brooks has now interrupted me multiple times. He's failing to respect the court's oral rulings here today. It's something that he's done repeatedly mm -hmm. throughout this trial. Yes, he is. Mr. Brooks, I need to go through some advisements. Unless you have a witness to immediately call, mm -hmm. I need to go through this particular discussion on the record with you regarding your right you don't, to testify. You, you don't do you to have a through, witness to call, sir? You don't need to go sir. through anything with me on record. You actually, to, I do so, actually, sir. That don't. is required by actually, law. Actually, you don't. You need to do your job as a public servant Mr. Brooks, and honor the oath that you I took, I need to go Honor. through these advisements, and if you're going to keep interrupting me, I will. you will forfeit your right to be present, and you so will you're be removed to again. the next courtroom so that I can properly go through these advisements without and being still, interrupted. And I still don't have to answer. I still don't have I still don't have to answer whether I'm in this court or not. So you're holding me in contempt yet again. Mr. Brooks, I've not held you in contempt. I've found that you have forfeited your right to be present by your conduct, which is one of the options available to this court under uh, Illinois versus <laughs> Allen, under State versus Vaughn. It's also yeah, Melanator. Stop tapping your darn piece of pen, your pen insert. <laughs> He's steady tapping his tiny little pen insert, this little inside piece of his pen, you know, because they wouldn't trust him with a whole pen. 
Daryl can't get an entire pen. He just get a little piece of a pen. Just a little piece, a little chunk of pen. A little slice, a little sliver of pen. <laughs> a little nibble of a pen. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so referenced in State versus Anthony. Um, so I am going to keep going, sir, despite your protestations. Um, I need you to in not versus interrupt Allen. me. In this Illinois is another versus, interruption. In Illinois versus Allen. Mr. Brooks, I'm not going to have a debate with you on I'm the meaning of Illinois versus I'm Allen. You are, have a debate. You are advised that it continued. Illinois. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Samantha. The straps on your ankles tell you it's legal. Yes. Yes, them strappies on your ankles, honey. You know what I was watching today? Uh, I, what I was looking through today when they, when the jury came back and found him guilty, and he was listening to them. Remember, he was like, he wanna, he wanna pull the the jury, which means he was gonna ask they would they would ask each juror individually if that was their verdict. You know, guilty, of course. And he was like, yeah, I want them to to do that. So while they were all reading theirs and Daryl was like looking up at them like, 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 like. <laughs> he looked like he was, like his eyes was all wet. Like, oh, y'all really going to do me like this? Is y'all really going to do me like that? Oh, Daryl, yes. Yes, that is exactly what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Cecilia, mama, that tap, tap, tap drove me mad, honey. Yeah, him and his little sliver of pen. His slithering, his slithering of pen. Okay. <laughs> oh, Daryl. Noise versus oh, out. Mr. Brooks, Darryl. you are advised that continued interruptions will result in you forfeiting your right like to be present during this next phase insert. of the trial. <laughs> okay, but. You saying that I'm I've said that multiple right. times. You I've given you multiple opportunities. Oh, thank you, Tina P. She says, sounds like a merchant idea. Personalized pen inserts. <laughs> oh, look at that. He, now he's looking up at that freaking ceiling again. <laughs> that ceiling broke up with you months ago, Daryl. <laughs> he looking for Jesus. <laughs> you looking for Jesus, Daryl? I don't think he there. <laughs> If I had to guess, I don't think he showed up either. I think he probably somewhere near wherever your mama's at because neither one of them is coming. <laughs> <laughs> neither your mama or your precious Jesus. None of them will show up. Poor Daryl all alone in the courtroom with his ankles cuffed. Ooh, bars, honey. Thank you, Tina P. Mama love you. Yes, she do. She do. That's for you. Cause mama said so. Cause mama, 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 mama said so. Saucy Sam, LOL. My fave part of that was when he lifted his head <laughs> as she was discharging the jury and realized she sets the sentence. Uh-huh. He definitely did not know that. <laughs> Can I stress that enough? Thank you, Samantha. Mama love you. Yes, she do. Daryl definitely did not know that the judge was going to be the one to ultimately, you know, choose his punishment. He didn't know. He thought it was going to be the jury. <laughs> he thought the jury was going to be like, he thought it was going to be some set thing based on whatever the jury says. Comes back with, he did not know the judge was the one. <laughs> Until she 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 let them go, I was like, wait, they're excused, but what about my punishment? <laughs> wait, wait, my sentence. They, wait, where are they leaving? Who's who's gonna pick my sentence? Wait, you, <laughs> Your Honor, have I mentioned that you have the most luxurious hair, Your Honor? You know, you know the kids was dressing up like you for Halloween, Your Honor. You know you've you've gotten quite the reputation. As like a hero. <laughs> you know, everybody loves you. Me too. <laughs> now, can you send me to the hospital, please? I don't want to go. 
I don't want to go to that other place, okay? I want to go to the hospital so I can harass the shit out of the nurses. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha, Mama. I love you. Yes, you do. Mm. <laughs> you You're holding stop me in contempt. Me. You're holding me in contempt. Mr. Brooks, by not removing holding you in from contempt the court for uh -huh. the second time here, and I've Your also Honor. repeated that. Your Honor, He's interrupting all, me yet again. Mr. Brooks, respect, I need you to stop talking. With all respect, yes. in Illinois versus Allen. Everybody, I want to see some tomatoes on the screen, okay? Everybody post some tomatoes. <laughs> All right, Mr. Brooks continues to want to debate with me the meaning of Illinois versus it's Allen. Tomatoes. It is a clear indication to this court to that he wants honor. to disrupt these proceedings, even That's in a mild manner, tone That's of not voice. True. Oh, hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Hey, y'all. Jason here. This I am Jason on here. It was my biggest, my very first before all this Daryl stuff came about. You know, back when mama had like, you know, six people in her live stream. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jason here. Oh, my God. He used to bless mama in the live chat. He's my very first big, big supporter. Everybody show some love. Throw some love in the chat for Jason, y'all. <laughs> Yes, he did. He used to bless mama. Indeed, he did. Thank you, Jason. Mama love you. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. <laughs> oh, yes. Tomatoes. Throw the tomatoes and the broccoli. Daryl's going to get hit on the side of the head with a tomato. Yes. Send the tomatoes his way. I'm, I'm seeking him to understand, Your Honor, standards because it doesn't. Civility. And Illinois one of the doesn't. Is that Illinois versus interrupt. Allen does not state. All right, I'm going to remove him to the next courtroom so that I can go through it does proper not advisements state. with him without being interrupted. It does not we'll state the that and you can be present from once he cameras is over there. Again, it, it I'll make the appropriate that you can findings be when he is there. Cameras. Or that you could be. Yes, we're off the record. Or that you could be. Pre okay, so you're making a tacit off. agreement. <laughs> okay, so you making a tacit agreement, you know, because I'm tacky and I do not agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. Hilarious. Daryl, you are hilarious, Sunny. <laughs> Claire Smith just typed out tomato. <laughs> That's one way to do it, Clay. That's one way to, hey, look, hey, it got done. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got to do, whatever you got to do, all right. All right, my booze. This was a short one. This was a short live, yes. But I will see you tomorrow, okay, for sure, for sure. We'll wake up early tomorrow, make a video. And then I'm going to go live, you know. And that'll be what it is. We're getting ready for this here Daryl trial. Okay, so we want to refresh everybody's brains so they'll be ready to laugh at his fool ass. Come Monday. <laughs> Come Monday. Okay. We got to be ready. We got to be ready with our tomatoes in hand. We must. We simply must. Okay. It is very important. Yes, the tacit agreement, Tony. It's the tacit agreement for me as well. Yes. Yes. Anthony Andrea, thank you, boo. Quick picking on the lovely judge. Doro's little belt locks. Doro got beautiful locks, honey. Doro got that good hair. <laughs> <laughs> she got that full, thick, just just too much like she could you know loan everybody some you know what i'm saying and she still have tons of it okay is erica going to be in court i don't know i'm gonna check out the thingy um i'm gonna check that out and see if uh i don't know if it'll note it will it note it i don't know if that'll be on the um 
like on the little, I don't know if you want to call that a docket. I don't know what the thing's called, but whatever the thing is, it shows where the, you know, like what courtroom they're going to be in and all that stuff. But mama can't wait. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but mama can't wait. Mama is super excited. Okay. I bet those suits got tighter. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, I wonder if he'll be able to wear a suit. Oh God. So many questions. We need to do a tally. Yeah, tomorrow in the live, we're going to do some tallies about what we think he's going to be. Like, like, will he come in with a haircut? <laughs> will he have a beard? <laughs> will he be wearing a suit? Will he be in his regular green odd attire? Okay. Will he be strapped to his chair? <laughs> will he? You know what I'm saying? There's, all, there's so many questions. And then we're going to see who all is the most right. You know, who got everything right or close enough to it? Who, who was the most accurate, pretty much? Do us a little tally tally, okay? Hit the like button before you leave, okay? Uh, thank you, Anthony, Andrea. Thank you, boo. Thank you, boo. Mama do appreciate you. And you know this. And you know this. Come on now. You know this. You know. You know. <laughs> Samantha, it's that time, siblings, okay? If you're still here, hit the like button, okay? Hit the subscribe and tell your friends. Love to all. Yes, and become a member. Hit that there link at the top of the chat. Or if you don't catch it before I close this live up, there will be a link. There's a link to it in the description of this video or live or whatever, you know, this what you looking at right now <laughs> there is one there too so okay no excuses all right good night aj good night booze good night big a good night melanator tv i mean sorry ty yes honey matt good night pumpkins rick g kevin m yeah kevin m was saying some crazy stuff in the chat tonight i don't know what's going on i don't know what's going on Cecilia, oh wait, wait, Mama, what happens on Monday? Oh, Cecilia, Monday, okay. <clears throat> um, Daryl will be going back into court for the trial where he ran over Erica's foot, his baby mama's foot, and so, and he has decided he's going to represent himself again. Okay, they're going full actual, you know, trial thingy or whatever. So we are going to be watching that live while it's happening from beginning to end right here. Mama took off work for it. That's how much dedication mama got. <laughs> <laughs> mama took off work for that. Okay, so I'm going to need for y'all to be up in here. Okay, come early. Uh, tomorrow I'll I'll have all the details about what time it'll be and all of that stuff. Um, but in Monday morning. That's where we're going to be. Okay. All right, booze. Yes, honey. That's what I said, Cecilia. I can't wait. <laughs> Good night, Lolita. Y'all sleep tight. I'll check you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Mama love you. Yes, you do. Y'all behave and stay safe. I, I, I insist. Okay. Good night. <laughs>